Hey there, and welcome to the first complete retouch. In this section, we're gonna be going from start to finish on one of our images, and you're gonna learn basically the entire process, which I would normally retouch a photo. So before we get started working in Photoshop, we need to get our images into Photoshop. Now, I've included a JPEG with your download. So if you go to your download package, complete edit number one, and in images, you'll see a JPEG. I've got a TIFF in there right now because I already exported it out, but you'll see a JPEG. Now, as you can see right here, a JPEG has a file size of 2.8 megabytes, okay? This is a pretty compressed file. Now, this TIFF right below it is 16 bits, and it's 132.7 megabytes, and you're like, whoa, that's insane. It's the same image. Well, a TIFF is not compressed um, in any way. So it has all of the original image data intact. So when you're going to edit a photo, it's actually a lot better to edit a TIFF than a JPEG because it has a lot more information in the photo. It's just gonna allow you a much cleaner edit. So we're including JPEGs because this is a download product and 2.8 megabytes takes a lot less time to download than 132 megabytes, especially when you go multiplying it out. But if you remember in the getting started section, we include all of our DNGs. So as long as you've loaded your DNGs into Lightroom or Bridge, you can always export any of those images out as TIFFs to work. So we'll show you how to do that. Anyway, if you feel like using the JPEG, then go ahead and follow along with the JPEG. If you feel like using the TIFF, go ahead and open up your retouching.lrcat that we created in the Lightroom tutorial section of this, uh, of this package. And we're gonna go over to this file, number 14. So this is gonna be flurn retouch 14.dng. Okay, now to export out your TIFF, simply right click, go to export, here to export. And then we're going to choose under file settings, our image format is gonna be TIFF, color space is Adobe RGB 1998, and your bit depth is 16 bits per component. All right, and you're gonna hit the export. It's a good idea to go ahead and just put it in this folder, which is exactly where I put mine. Okay, so now you'll have a JPEG and a TIFF. Again, the reason why we're having you generate your own TIFF is because it's gonna save a lot of time on the download. In fact, it already has saved you time and you didn't even know it. All right, let's go ahead and hit cancel. That's uh, all we're doing here in Lightroom. So let's go ahead and quit Lightroom. Now we're here in Photoshop, I'm gonna hit Control or Command O to open. We're gonna to go to the complete edit number one, images, and we're gonna to go to our learn retouch 14.tiff. Okay, great. So this is our first complete retouch, and I'm so excited, guys. We're gonna start off by kind of highlighting all the things that we're going to do to this image. Now, this image, we're gonna go through the retouch process basically the exact same way that I would normally retouch a photo. So it may seem like we're jumping around in places and things like that, but this is we're basically, I wanted to replicate the experience of like, hey, you're sitting behind my you know, shoulder or whatever, watching me retouch. So it's gonna be step-by-step step in the exact way that I actually do the retouching. Not only that, but we're gonna be combining pretty much all the techniques we've learned up until now. So all that's gonna to come together to this amazing tutorial. All right, let's go ahead and start circling some of the changes we're going to make to this retouched image. All right, so we're gonna start off with things like flyaway hairs. Now, these hairs and things like that, that does not really bother me. Like this should be part of the image, but maybe this sort of thing, it's just a little bit too much. All right, the lip here, you can see the makeup on the lip looks pretty good, but it could definitely be straightened up a little bit. All right, so we're going to work on straightening up the lip. Um, her eyebrows look really great. We're just gonna clean them up a little bit, like, in here, we're gonna clean this up and, and kind of fill it up just to make sure that her eyebrows are picture perfect. This is a retouching tutorial after all. All right, we're gonna be darkening the eyeshadow around our subject's face. We're going to be brightening the eyes. I'll put a little up arrow. We're gonna be brightening and coloring the eyes, which we've learned before. Um, we're gonna be adding in eyelashes. All right, so adding a little bit more detail. You guys will see how simple that really is. Okay, we're going to be matching the color. You can see her hand color is not the same color as her face. So like her neck color, see how this is like, looks desaturated, like there's not a lot of color here. And it almost looks like it's blue, like it has a little bit of bluish compared to this, like that looks yellowy, right? Compared to that. And then the face is something different too. 
So we need to match the face color to the hand color to this color. So we're going to show you how to color match different parts. And that's just the way like light and blood flow works and things like that happens all the time. This is not, this is not um, something that's specific to this photo. It's very common that hands and bodies and faces come out different colors in a photo. So we're going to show you guys how to work with that. Uh, we're going to work on the color of her shirt just to bring that Maybe we'll bring it more color or less color, depending on what is going to bring uh, attention to our subject. All right, we're going to fill in this little hole here on on her hair. I call it a hair hole in my notes. Um, we're going to work on coloring and dodging and burning her hair as well. All right, she's got like just a couple little things like there's a little like weird thing on her hand there and just little, <laughs> little things that bother us. Um, all right, there's a little bit of hair on her face we're gonna go ahead and take care of this we're gonna just like make that a lot less visible all right and she's got a little couple like dark spots here so we're gonna kind of clean that up as well and that's pretty much gonna give us a good start so like <laughs> you can see i i feel i always feel like a doctor whenever i'm doing this like marking up my patients like okay this is where we're gonna this is where we're gonna make the incision um, we're to clean up a couple like little dark patches and things like that. Um, but overall, you know, the subject's skin is gorgeous. This photo, I mean, for being, you know, just process in Lightroom, this photo is really great. Like, then I got to give a lot of props to Aaliyah, our subject, because she did a, a really, really great job. So that's what we're going to be covering in today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. We're going to start off, we're going to make that invisible, and we're going to call this a new layer, and I'm going to just group this with itself. We're gonna call this retouch one. All right, cool. So the first thing I do whenever I start off my tutorials is, or not my tutorials, my images, is anything that I have to do with the liquify tool, I'm gonna to do that first. And the reason is like, if I'm gonna be pushing pixels around and things like that, I wanna build on top of that. I, I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to come back to this later. So if you do plan on liquefying, like pushing and pulling, like moving hair out or things like that, always make sure to do that first. Okay. So here in my retouch one group, I've got a new layer. I'm going to hit shift option command E as an elephant. And that's going to make a stamp visible layer. Basically it's just a duplicate of my background. Okay. So with this layer, you can see I can move it around. It's just, you know, it's a duplicate of my background layer pretty much. All right. And this is what we're going to load into the liquify tool so a lot of people think liquify is like oh my gosh it's like you know like <laughs> a, a tool where you have to do a lot but really even if you just move like a couple of pixels it can be super helpful so let's go to filter and then down to where we see liquify all right i'm going to zoom out because i'm looking at like overall shape and structure and things like that and just kind of figuring out like what can i actually do to the image to make it a little bit better so things like, I can't, this is, she really has that much hair, which is like still uh, just, I, that's insane to me that that's hair, it, it's real. Like I, I was there, I photographed it. Um, and so we're just gonna kind of enhance it a little bit more. Um, maybe like bring a little bit more of a wave into some of the parts of the hair. There we go. All right, we are gonna be working a lot with flyaways here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And if we can, I'm probably going to be clone stamping a lot of these flyaways out or spot healing brush. But if I can push them in just a little bit, it might make them a little bit more manageable. All right. There we go. Cool. So I'm just kind of like taking the big hair idea and like totally running with it right now like <laughs> you want big hair we will show you big hair all right and that looks really really nice now sometimes people will like bring chins up not not like that by the way but you can actually push shoulders down a little bit and that's going to make a neck look a little bit longer all right let's just zoom in here a little bit and we're going to start pulling up in this direction just kind of like even and round this out a little bit. All right, that looks great. Now I'm gonna go in here and fix just a couple little things that are just a little bit kind of weird, like the 
this little bump here with her hand. See how it's kind of like doing this. It's like, whoa. We're just going to choose a brush right about here and push this in. Um, by the way, the settings we're using on our brush here with our pressure and our density being right about 50 percent that would be my suggestion for starting off with the liquify tool i pretty much paint about 50 percent all the time with these guys and then my size i just change accordingly to wherever i'm actually um, adjusting in in my image all right i know that bone's supposed to be there but i'm just gonna lessen the impact of it just a little bit there all right and we'll see if there's any work i can do on her lip here in the liquify tool there we go so pulling it down a little bit just allowed me to kind of uh, bring that symmetry back and I can make her lip a little bit bigger as well all right beautiful now some people also go in and they do things like pull up you know like eyebrows and things like that which really can add a bit to an image and why not? We'll just go ahead and do that because I just did it and it doesn't look horrible. So we'll just keep it. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and straighten her collar out. You can see how this line, like, that's just kind of like a, a, the line there could be better. So bring this up a little bit. All right, so you can see I'm just basically like pushing and pulling pixels around and it's again It's like nothing crazy. It's just like little little cleanups like all the little stuff kind of adds up That's kind of the whole thing with retouching is like there's not just like oh I just hit this one button and now it's retouched and like good to go um, true retouching requires paying attention to you know many little details and and uh, you know seeing where there we go, fix your lip a little bit. Seeing where all those details kind of like come together to create a complete image. All right, cool. And I'm just continuing to look around the image, see if anything else is like bugs me or whatever. But you know what, I, I think we're pretty dang good. All right, so let's go ahead and hit okay. All right, so let's see, let's go ahead and turn this layer off and on. So there's this layer off and then back on. So you can see, kind of fix the symmetry in her lips a little bit. All right, brought her hair out, fixed her shirt line, made that a little bit better, and brought her eyebrows out. All right, now if we do have to go in and change any of those things after the fact, we can totally do them. But I think starting off with the liquify tool is really, really what you wanna do. Cause then we build retouching on from that. All right, so there we go. That's our liquify. Okay, great. The next thing we're gonna do is like minor blemish removal, um, which is basically going to be with the healing brush tool and the spot healing brush tool. Now in this case, our subject has dang near perfect skin. Her skin, like this is like not retouched skin at all. Um, and it's like, what kind of like, <laughs> who has, beautiful skin like that. It was just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous skin. Um, and I'm super excited to be working with it. So what we're gonna do is kind of like, just not really like clean it up, but we're gonna just uh, work on little blemishes. There's not much, but we're, all, we're just gonna keep going and I'll show you what we're doing. So there are a couple of dark spots here that just kind of like, they look a little bit too dark. So I, we're just gonna go ahead and take care of those. Okay, and we're using the spot healing brush tool. Our mode's gonna be normal. Our type is gonna be content aware, and I wanna make sure I have sample all layers checked. All right, and now I'm just gonna start painting over some of these freckles and things like that, that in this case, were just a little bit dark in this area. All right, little spot right there, little spot right there. And, you know, like we said earlier, her, her skin is really, really great. And um, this is actually my first time um, photographing someone with such like amazing freckles like this I've um, yeah it's, it's really really cool I've, I've never had the opportunity to photograph someone like this before so um, for me it was a really great experience all right 
So using our spot healing brush tool, basically I'm just zoomed in here and we're working on all of our little, little spots that we just want to fix. All right. Now the great thing about these retouching tutorials, in my opinion, is that we photograph models from different backgrounds. So you guys have the, uh, you know, you're basically learning how to do freckled skin, but then we have um, Nazreen, our other uh, model. Her skin is not freckled at all. So you have a lot of different types of skin here. All right, kind of clean that up. Um, basically anything that like doesn't belong you can take care of with the spot healing brush tool, like that little spot right there, or like that little dark thing right there, or like that little light thing right there. Um, so this is the perfect time to like get super detailed. Like if you're one of those detail oriented people or you know, you just need to like zone out and stare at a computer for a little while, um, this type of retouching is really the perfect, perfect thing to do. It's like a cathartic therapy, you know, <laughs> like zoom in and fix all the little things. All right, there we go. We'll take care of something in our hand. All right. Cool. This is like a little bit of light that's kind of coming in our arm. So kind of just remove that. All right, we can probably remove some of these. Now, when retouching, I'm not in the like Let's make this so perfect you can't even tell it's a human anymore. You know, I, I don't want to do that. Like that's, I'm not going to teach you guys how to do that because I don't, I don't think that's good retouching. Um, so I am going to like remove, you know, things that are distractions. But when it comes to skin, we, we want to make sure we've got skin tone and texture and, and detail and everything. All right. Cool, so any just freckles or little details that are kind of just like pulling my attention, I'm gonna continue to take care of those. All right. And I'm just kind of like looking around the image as to like, hmm, that could go away, that could go away. Anyway, I'm not gonna remove all our freckles or anything like that, but. All right, cool. Looking great. Okay, next we're gonna create a new layer on top of that, and we're gonna take care of some of these like, little flyaway hairs and things like that. Just any of the little hair areas that are, you know, like these sort of things. All these little extra hairs. This is the best tool in the world to do these, is this spot healing brush tool. Again, make sure you're set to content aware up here at the top. And again, I don't have to get all of these little guys, but if I can remove, you know, a decent bit of the like outliers and distracting elements and things like that, then the hair is just going to look that much more like clean and smooth and um, well, retouched. All right. Now, if you are retouching for like a, you know, like a hair, um, like let's say you were hired to like photograph a shampoo commercial or you know maybe like you're working with a hairstylist and the hair needs to be perfect then yeah go in here use a spot healing brush tool and like really take care of you know all these little spots if you can um, but anything else other than that you should be just fine just taking care of like the big just the ones that really stand out to you all right because it <laughs> Retouching hair will take as much time as you want to give it. Like, you know, I could spend another hour and a half like cleaning up her hair, um, but it's just not necessary. And in like 10 years, I'd be like, man, I wish I had that hour and a half back. <laughs> Spent retouching that random girl's hair. Um, all right, very nice. And we're gonna take care of some of these flyaway hairs as well. Notice I'm painting with the direction of the hair here. And that just allows the spot healing brush tool to do a good job filling in the detail for me. All right, now you'll notice that my brush size is a bit larger than what I'm actually painting. Uh, the reason there is I'm using a pressure sensitive tablet and 
I can control the size of my brush by the how hard I press my brush. Um, so if you are interested in a pressure sensitive tablet, I'm using a Wacom Intuos Pro Small. I recommend the small size. It's nice and easy and relatively inexpensive. I believe they run about $200. Um, or you can use a mouse, but when you're, when you're serious about Photoshop and retouching, I, I would really recommend using a Wacom tablet. And if you'd like more information on a Wacom tablet, just go to flurn.com and type into the search bar uh, Wacom, that's W-A-C-O-M. We have some great episodes on how to use and set up and uh, the advantages of using a Wacom tablet, a pressure sensitive Wacom tablet. Wacom is the company that makes them, by the way. And no, I was not paid to tell you that. <laughs> All righty, they're just great tools. So you can see, basically, I'm just painting over these hairs here, and it's, you know, it's not rocket science. You just got to do it. You got to go, you know, find all the little hairs that kind of look distracting, and you got to go take care of them. And again, you don't have to do everything. Just take care of the ones that, you know, really do stand out. Or anyone's got, like, stuff in their hair, I don't know, like dirt or whatever, <laughs> take care of that, too. Very nice. All right, just another minute or two with this and we'll be good to go. so much hair it's insane all right okay well I feel like that's a pretty good start you at least know the technique here find the hair that you want gone and paint over it all right let's see what that looks like with this before and the after so you can see I didn't spend a whole lot of time but it really does clean up the hair, especially there on the top, right? With all those like light hairs kind of flying away. Now I'm looking at her face a lot more, which is ultimately your goal. All right, let's, we haven't like really spent a ton of time. Let's just look at the before and after up until now. So there's the before and the after already. And you can see it really is looking quite a bit better already, which is exactly what we want. All right, cool. All right, guys, that's the end of section one. We'll pick up and uh, continue retouching in the next section.